what I've always loved about the Z06, everything's a little bit more exaggerated. It looks a little bit more aggressive, has a little bit more power. Everything about it is just, takes the Corvette and just amplifies it. From the Stingray to the Z06, it's always your most track capable car. Engineering would come to us and they would say, we think we need to give the car a wider footprint. And of course for design, you know, we love wider footprints. What's neat about the Z06, it's basically the same width as the race car. The overall design philosophy was more of an edgier design, but offset by taunt and muscular surfaces. The car looks like it's ready to pounce. You always want to work front to back. It's a filtering and refining process, so that you start at the very tip, and then you just keep walking down the side. That's how we got to the side inlets. The car got wider because we needed these inlets to kind of reach out and start grabbing more air as we got to the rear of the car. If you compare it to the Stingray, the extractor bezels in the Z06 are lower, wider. We actually even move the tail lamps outboard more. And by using these graphic elements, it helps enhance the width of the car. Well, the front corner is important because it basically sets up airflow down the whole side of the car. It sets it up for how the air goes over the top, how the air goes through the middle of the car. And then the back end of the car is so instrumental in establishing downforce. It puts you in more control of the car at higher speeds. We found that if we could get more air out from the bottom of the car, if we could extract it out through the wheel openings, that actually improves the downforce. And it's an exponential thing where the faster the car goes, the more downforce we get. The charm of the rear wing, it's low in the center so that we can still accommodate good rear visibility. It's high on the corners because that's where the air is cleanest. The Z07 performance package gives you 734 pounds of downforce at 186 miles an hour. Certainly this car with its mid-engine architecture and its exotic proportions now, it's not just a stat sheet, it's a statement piece. It's an all-out ultimate performance machine.